Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Desk Rejection of Research Manuscripts Almost all researchers, MA students, PhD scholars and teachers wish to get their research published in well-known research journals, but most of the times it does not happen. Well-known research journals such as Academy of Management Review, Business Ventures, Journal of Marketing receive hundreds of manuscripts every year, but most of them get desk rejection. There are some common but critical reasons that lead to a manuscript desk rejection. 1. Title of the manuscript does not represent its content. Abstract which is the global summary of a research manuscript is either irritant or lacks critical information. For instance, purpose of the research is not clearly mentioned. Gap in the existing literature is either missing or not properly highlighted. The justification for addressing the gap in the existing literature is not mentioned. Methods for data collection are not clearly mentioned. Most importantly, contributions to the field and implications are not mentioned. Keywords do not reflect the key themes of the research. Similarly, in the introduction section, the gap literature is either missing or it is not properly present or it is not presented in a chronological order or areas of research are not well trodded or latest references are not cited in the gap literature. Similarly, concepts and terms are not properly defined. Overview of theories to be used is not given and in construct building, concepts or constructs are not properly defined and elucidated in the light of relevant theory and literature or insufficient literature is used in construct building. Proposed models, theoretical models are proposed either without using proper theoretical foundations or using irrelevant theories or researchers use theories but they do not provide justification why they use them. Most of the times researchers, particularly students, they use theory but they fail to explain how those theories explain relationship between concepts in a hypothesis section, sometimes hypotheses are not properly derived from the theory. Sometimes hypotheses contradict the research purpose. For example, a researcher mentions in the research purpose that the purpose of this study is to examine the impact of increase in product price on sales and in hypothesis he and she writes there is a relationship between increase in product price and sales these are two different concepts I mean impact and relationship are totally two different things methods sometimes researchers use improper or incorrect research approaches for data collection. For example, in the purpose, a researcher mentions that the aim of this study is to investigate the cause and effect relationship between price and sales. But in data collection method, they mention the data has been collected by using a survey. In case of cause and effect 
relationship research or causal research. Data is collected by using experiments, not surveys. Similarly, sometimes targeted population is irrelevant. For example, in research purpose, researcher mentions that the purpose of this study is to investigate the relationship between working conditions and employee performance. But in data collection, they mention that data was collected from 300 students. In this case, the student population is irrelevant. It does not truly really represent theoretical constructs. Sometimes researchers use right population, but they use improper or less generalizable sampling procedures such as convenience sampling. Sometimes researchers use irrelevant measurement scales or items or those items lack content validity. Sometimes researchers do not evaluate construct validity such as convergent validity and discriminant validity. Similarly, sometimes there is flaw in research instruments such as questionnaire. It is ill-designed or flawed. Theory testing and interpretation of results. Sometimes researchers use incorrect statistical tests, formulas and criteria. For example, in research purpose, researcher mentions the purpose of the research is to examine the impact of price on sales. And in analysis, researcher applies correlation. In this case, the application of correlation is wrong. However, it should not be misunderstood. Correlation can be used in such case, but for some other purpose. For example, to evaluate the nomological validity between theoretical constructs. Similarly, researchers make mistakes when they are writing the discussion. Sometimes they write discussion or they discuss the findings of the study without referring to the previous research. Or sometimes discussion itself is ill-written. In concluding remarks, most of the researchers replicate the results of the study. In fact, researchers should mention the themes which they derive from the findings of the study. In contribution section, most of the researchers fail to highlight the contribution which they make to the existing theory. In fact, it should come directly from the gap which they have addressed. Similarly, researchers should clearly mention the implications of their research. In other words, social or managerial implications of the study. I mean, they should mention whether a society or a group of community or a business group can benefit from the study and how they can utilize the findings of their research in society or in a community or in a business. Thank you. This was today's topic. Allah Hafiz.